Hello everybody and welcome to unit 5 of our Open SAP course on how to kickstart SAP transformations with plug and gain by SAP Signavio. Today we will be learning about how plug and gain helps us identify and select internal company best practices for global template improvements. And we'll be doing that by first of all taking a look at typical business questions related to process execution, variance and performance. And then we will find out which capabilities Plug and Gain by SAP Signavio provides to answer such questions. There are two important metrics available, the internal benchmarking and the best run score. We will look at them. And next, we will check out the process execution path along with the process variant analysis. And we will get an overview on how to create a BPMN based on the preferred process variant. Okay, so here we go again. This is Max representing the business of a company that is planning to transition to SAP S4 HANA. In terms of company internal best practices, typical questions would be, how are all of the processes currently executed? And how can process variants, especially best performing process variants, be detected? Plug and Gain by SAP Signavio ex equips with the process exploration and the process variant analysis, which help to understand how processes are actually performed and which variants exist. But Plug and Gain also addresses Max's questions regarding selecting internal best practice processes and particularly the best performing ones. A scoring and internal benchmarking of all process variants along with the comparison to SAP's recommendations help identify the most efficient process flow. Let's look at that in more detail now. In order to identify internal best practices, Plug and Gain provides a broad range of metrics. Two of the most important ones are the best run score and the internal benchmarking. We already had a look at the best run score in the previous session. The best run score is an indicator showing to which extent a company is running an effective process in the SAP system. Typically, to accomplish a certain process step, Multiple ways exist. Some of these ways are more efficient than others. For example, if you compare an automated process step to a manual task. Additionally, there is an internal benchmarking provided. For each phase of the process flow selected, every company code is ranked according to the best run score. This way, one can easily spot the outliers and investigate on the company code that perform well or poorly in the different areas of the process. Perhaps you remember this slide from an earlier unit. This is the process execution analysis. It is available out of the box for five end-to-end -end processes and over 60 sub-processes. The process execution analysis shows us the various ways processes are executed in reality and across the entire organization or in a particular company code. It shows the exact path and provides various ways and shows various ways a step can be done. For example, there are many ways to create an invoice. The thickness of the path tells how frequent the cases pass through a particular process variant. You can drill down and receive even more insights, for example, by toggling between variants to see how paths differ among each other, or by creating a hotspot diagram depicting how frequent a step occurs and whether it is a desirable step or not. The next important investigation is the so-called process variant analysis. It provides insights into how many different variants of a process exist and how they perform. This way, one can easily identify a process which performs well with regards to lead times or blockers. So you can basically identify your main process variants and you can assess the process variants using lead times and blockers. 
And then after slicing and dicing and really diving deep into process executions and process variants, one can select the best performing process variants. For example, based on the internal benchmarking we've just seen, and then one can generate a BPMN model of this process. In the SAP Signavio Process Manager, this BPMN diagram can be edited. It can be used as a comparison to the SAP best practices and ultimately to define the 2B process. Now, let's have a look at what all of this looks like in the system. As usual, we're starting our demo again in the Process House, which is part of SAP Signavio Process Collaboration Hub. And the Process House is our point of entry to access all of the analyses and insights. Um, our goal today is to use plugin gains insights into the process performance and reality to support process harmonization activities. So this time we're selecting the plan to fulfill process and I'm extending it by clicking on the plus sign and then we see here the different process flows we have available or actually we have the make to inspect process, we have the deliver product to fulfill process and the deliver service to fulfill process. And we see that for all the process flows over here there are several process variants in place. And today we'll taking a look we'll be taking a look at the make to stock discrete manufacturing process variant. And we see that for this process flow, the best run score is already at 29%, which is pretty good, meaning that 29% of all cases completed are considered best run or very efficient, in other words. When I click here, we see all of the investigations and analyses available and today we'll be focusing on the process variant analysis. So I'm clicking here and the process variant analysis is opening. So we're now seeing the process variant analysis brought to us by the Process Intelligence or by SAP Signavio Process Intelligence. And when we access the process variant analysis, typical questions are, how do process variants influence process performance or what variants should be used as the best practice model in the transformation initiative? So we want to find out the best performing process variant. This, the process variant overview, is the first, the first graphic that the process variant analysis equips us with. And it shows us all the variants available occurring in the ERP system. We can, over here, right now it is listed, there's a ranking, so the typical flow with 935 cases identified is this flow over here. We can also change the view and have percentage, percentage shown. So in this case, we realize or we can see that 50% of the highlighted flow are, are currently the top variant mainly used. Um, yeah, but we can also add other attributes, right? So we can also, for example, add the cycle time if we're interested like over here, but you can also add any other attribute that you're interested in. So for example, this could be the lead time, if you like, the lead time, for example, from start to production orders delivered. And here you see the numbers. Something else that you can do is you can toggle between the different variants. So for example, we see that the common way is this way that the production order is fully or partially delivered. However, there it is also happening. There's also other process flows available, right? Let me go back here. Mm, so if we, for example, choose the second version over here, when we go to the normal view without attributes, we see that the typical case is for 50.6%, 50 
production orders are fully or partially delivered, if we toggle to the second variant, we see that 17.9% of production orders are not delivered. So this is the second, the second uh, place in the charting, so to speak. Um, this is the variant path we're currently seeing. You can also select the hotspot view. The hotspot shows us how frequent a step occurs. And of course, I mean, I guess you can tell that already, but the color of the task or of the hotspot graphic at the task box tells us if the step is desirable or not. Uh, green indicates, of course, that the process step is desirable. Red means that this is a step which is not desirable. For example, here it is not desirable to create production orders without reference to planned orders. Again, you can here see the percentage value or the number of cases, of course, and you have the chance to toggle between the different processes or the variants. When scrolling further down, we see a table and uh, this table lists performance or the performances of all process variants of this process step and you can see how the different process variants produce vari varying business outcomes and apart from the graphic itself which is currently not perfectly displayed please excuse that you can actually pretty easily identify which which variant is helpful and which not so much. So for example, over here, you would always select the green boxes, of course. Last but not least, as part of the process variant analysis, we see a very simplified diagram. And this diagram only shows the steps taken in each variant for a simplified view. And depending on what you're interested in, we can focus on the frequency, for example, or the lead time. We can select the number of cases, the percentages. Here's the cycle time. And uh, yeah, the functionality is pretty similar to the above ones. However, what's different here is that we can also compare different variants, right? So right now we have highlighted three variants. If I only want to see one, it would look like this. Now, if I want to compare number one and number two, I could highlight both of them. And yeah, my recommendation would be to align on a preferred internal process variant after a time period of slicing and dicing and playing around with the data. And um, yeah, the variant to be selected or the one you would like to focus on can be then selected in this simplified view. And then you can export it as a BPMN model by clicking on generate BPMN. So depending on your preference. So for example, if we want to, I don't know, let's select process variant number four. And if we then click on generate BPMN, the SAP Zignavio process manager is opening or the editor is opening. And um, then we see here the BPMN diagram of our process variant preference and we can edit it here. Traditionally, and in order to model as is processes, I guess you know that, you typically have to conduct lots of interviews and paint the walls with, uh, sticky, with sticky notes and papers. But now with SAP Signavio, this has changed, of course, because right here we have the editor that everyone can access and we can jointly model the process based on our previously selected best performing process variant or the one we think is the most efficient. Now, let's briefly wrap up Unit 5. In order to identify internal best practices, the metrics internal benchmarking and the best run score are the most relevant. 
Plug and Gain by SAP Signavio equips customers with the process exploration analysis, which depicts actual process execution steps. Then there is the process variant analysis, which provides insights into how many different variants of a process exist and how they perform. Once the preferred process variant has been identified via the investigations provided, a BPMN graphic or diagram can be generated and used as a baseline for further discussions about process harmonizations. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next unit.